Gary. Hi, guys. Uh, what did that mean to you to get that ovation and just to, to spark the defense like you did? Uh, everybody's talking about your game tonight and just how much that, that got everybody going and that you're a defensive-minded team. Uh, this, is, this is why I'm here. This is what I'm here for, you know, just to come in, uh, spark, you know, spark whatever we need, spark on defensive end to get us going. And, um, you know, our, our offense is uh, we can do anything. We have a lot of pieces, you know, in our starting five and on our bench. We're so we're so deep. Um, we can do anything for space, and that makes everything on the offense size easier. So if we can get stops, um, it's going to be pretty hard to stop us. Uh, there's a moment there you were looked doubled over, uh, and then Andre came up to you. I was curious if you were just tired, or was that an emotional moment for you? Oh no, I was, yeah, I was just catching my breath. Uh, tweaked my ankle. Just it was a little a little bothering me, but you know, just fight through it. And uh, Dre was just trying to tell me just keep going, keep going. So you know, I just do what I can to make plays for my team. When you were. Uh figuring out if you were going to get that last spot were, were those days like what were they like was it anxious was it tough or did you know all along that you had that spot uh no um I just come in treat every day you know like it was my last um try to just show you know the coaching staff and front office you know what I can do and what I can bring to help this team and um you know I was just you know waiting to talk to them and see see what the, the plan was you're trying to prove that you're not like just a defensive specialist too I mean you're scoring a bunch early this season yeah, um, I'm a pretty good cutter, you know, um, especially when guys are, you know, draw a lot of attention. 30, Dre, you know, everybody on our team draws a lot of attention because we have so many offensive threats and uh, it opens up so many lanes and back backdoor cuts and whatnot. So uh, teammates do a great job of finding everybody on the back cut. So i um, just showing, you know, offensively what I can bring. Where does that uh, dunk you had in the first half rank on your personal uh, list? <laughs> Uh, it's, it's just two points, you know. Uh, more than less, I'm happy. You know, we got we got a few stops in there, and uh, can get our get our team going and get the crowd into it. And you know, I think that's really uh, pushed us over the hump in the third and leading into the fourth. You know, just to try to put these guys away. Not too many teams have a guy who is your height as their primary lob threats almost. <laughs> um, what's that like knowing that, you know, because you're around the paint a lot, that you might be the guy that they throw it up to? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, we talk about this, um, you know, throughout the summer leading into the year, you know. Uh, guys know I can jump and, and play above the rim, so uh, it, it really gives us a lot of diversity, and I can play, play the dunker a lot, and you know, I know that guys are looking, and we're a very unselfish team, so you know, when they see something and I see it, and, you know, it's just I tell them to throw it up, throw it to the roof. Damien said you guys spent two, three months uh, working out together up in the Oakland Hills uh, before the draft, and you both have sort of kept those memories and encouraging each other throughout this journey. And, and how much has that meant to you to to have that history with him? And uh, me and D. Lee, um, we met actually uh, that summer going into the draft, and uh, we worked out uh, night and day. With uh, C. Far, Chris Far, and uh, you know, it's just looking back at it now. Guys, is in the G. You know, I played against Juan, uh, D. Lee. You know, it's just it's just been a journey. You know, we think we think back like a few years ago. Um, you know, we were all in the G. You know, trying to find our way, carve our way. Uh, you know, to a spot. And it's just so happened that we we're all on the same team. And it's just a great feeling. You know, you put in the work, and you know, this is what you get out of it. Yeah, and uh, Steve basically just told us that you forced yourself into the rotation. You're not going to be a matchup-based guy. How cool is that for you, just knowing you, you played yourself into a role like that? Um, you know, it was great. It was, like I said, it doesn't matter how long, how many seconds I get, how many minutes I get. Um, just go out there and make a play for my team. You know, still be a great teammate on the bench. You know, my number's not called that night, but, you know, when it's called, uh, be ready. I, I, I just try to stay ready. I've been doing that for about five years now, just staying ready. And uh, when the opportunity presents itself, you know, just take full advantage. Gary, I can only imagine your dad's phone was probably filling up with texts and calls after your performance tonight. Have you gotten a chance to talk to him yet? I have not talked to Gary, but um, I'll, I'm sure I'll talk to him in the next few hours. <laughs> did you talk to him after he won his first game? Oh, I did. I did talk to him. Um, him and my little brother are on the same team. Yeah. Shout out, JP. Uh, Julian's playing really well right now. So uh, you guys get a chance to check out Julian Payton uh, at Lincoln University. 
And uh, Gary, Gary seems like he's on the right track right now. So, um, you know, I'm going to try to catch one of the games if I can. I hope he comes down here and catch one of these games. But uh, he's doing a great job up there with those kids. GP, what's it like playing with uh, Andre Iguodala? Feels like you guys would make a a great mentor mentee pair. Uh, it's it's uh, educational. Um, he's filled with so much knowledge of the game. He's been here his 18th season. Um, he's been through it all. Uh, world champ and defensively, you know, he makes plays. He sacrifices, you know, what he does for teams, and you know, it helps them tremendously. Him, Draymond, Clay, all those guys, you know, all the vets. Belly is just, it's just a good, a good guy and good players to have on your team. You know, that know the game really well, and you can pick, and go to them for any advice and uh, pick their brains. Gary Clay Thompson tweeted out after the game he could, he could watch you play defense like all day long. Just when when he says that about you, just what what's your reaction? I can to watch that? Clay Thompson shoot the ball all day long, and I can't wait to watch that all game long when he gets back. Um, you know, it's just is what I do, and when he gets back, is I know that's what he's going to do. So um, we're on the court together. I'm sure it's going to be fun.